When looking at comment sections, I receive many questions. Among them is a very basic question that makes me feel like many people take manifestation in the wrong way. They feel like manifestation is a mathematical equation that they can solve with a certain formula. Like, I am their teacher who will give them a formula that they will apply and, boom, the result will be in front of their eyes. Well, there is no such thing as a mathematical formula or a cheat code that will give you the results. There is only one thing that is there. It is highly discussed by Neville Goddard and every other creator on the YouTube platform, and that is the state of wish fulfilled. Everyone here is trying to convey the same thing in one way or another. Our styles are unique to suit the unique personalities present in the universe. Some people get clarity from some other creators, while there are many others who get it from my content. But, the thing remains the same, and that is to assume the state of wish fulfillment. To get into the state of wish fulfilled, I have discussed many things that are called techniques in the manifestation community. They are affirmations, visualizations, I remember when technique, scripting, inner conversations, telephone technique, whisper technique, and many more. You use these techniques to get into the state of wish fulfillment. That's it. And what do I mean by the state of wish fulfillment? Well, for me, it means getting an inner knowing that tells you that you already have the thing you desire. You feel relaxed and calm. You feel like, even though when I open my eyes and don't notice it in my 3D, it is still coming true. It is the feeling that takes away your desperation towards the desire. It is the feeling that makes the desire feel natural. It is the feeling that you get when you have a friend that is a celebrity, but you see yourself as their friend, not as their fan. You don't put it on a pedestal, that is away from your reach, instead you merge with it and make it a part of you. The state of wish fulfillment is just a state where you feel like it is highly possible to get that thing in your reality. For me, these things convey the feeling of a wish fulfilled. We achieve these states by the repetition of an imaginal activity. Either we visualize the thing and stay in it. We look at it from different angles, touch it using our imaginary hands, feel it, and try to make it as vivid as possible. We do it to the point that it feels natural to us. I tried it once. I hugged one of the SPs I had in the past. In my imagination, I hugged her at a specific spot every day just after waking up from sleep. I usually repeat it. It was a simple scene where I knew I was standing at a specific location and hugging her. My arms were wrapped around her and, with a smile on my face, I used to repeat it. It might felt unnatural on the first day, but repeating it again and again for like two weeks felt like a regular thing. And after two weeks I missed one day, and then I forgot to repeat it. I got occupied with something else and totally forgot about it. Then, after some days, it happened. I was totally unaware of the possibility that it could happen at that time. It was the same spot, same person, same hug, my arms were wrapped around her, I felt her heartbeat and after that incident, I was like, oh my god, manifestation works. I did it. Wow, I didn't count the days. I was not like, I had to do this imaginal act for X number of days, and then I would be able to manifest it. I didn't ask anyone how many repetitions I needed to do. I didn't ask any other person to tell me if I was doing it right or not. For me, this imaginal scene was taking me into the state of wish fulfillment. I felt relaxed and peaceful doing this. After some days, I no longer felt the need to do this scene again as I already lived in that moment. I was not looking for evidence of or movements in my 3D reality. I was not even concerned about when it would happen. It felt good. Just doing this simple act made me feel fulfilled. It made me satisfied. Just like when we eat our favorite meal and we no longer feel the need to have another food item. It worked for me in the same manner. So, when I look at the comment sections or some people ask me about how many days do I need to practice this, or how many repetitions I should do, then I feel sad because I don't know how many repetitions are required for you to feel it natural. In my case, it took me 10 minutes to do a guided meditation where I did this imaginal scene of hugging a person for like 2 minutes. I repeated this scene for 14 straight days and it manifested. If I go out and tell you all to do it for 14 days for 2 minutes every day, then I am not taking the right course of action because for me it might have taken much more or less time than another to impress my subconscious mind. When I tell you that you can repeat an affirmation 10,000 times to impress your subconscious mind, I receive comments like 10,000 sounds like a completely arbitrary number. You lost credibility with this one. LOL, what should I do? I lost my credibility with a number. That is why, when you ask another person how many times you should repeat your affirmations or visual scenes, you are misinterpreting the manifestation. I don't know how many times you have to say the phrase I remember when. To get your manifestation. Does repeating it make you feel satisfied? If so, then do it. If not, change it. No one knows how many times you have to do the repetitions. The only point that matters is whether you are feeding your subconscious mind with imaginal activity or not. Whether you are satisfied with it or not, do you still feel hungry? 
Then, go feed it with the feeling of a wish being fulfilled. Feed it till it feels complete and satisfied. Do it often. I hope you got the point. Now, honestly tell me in the comments section. Today how many of you truly fed your subconscious mind with the feeling of fulfillment? Even if you didn't do it, right, I will do it now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe for more videos like this. I will meet you tomorrow with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting.